This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, including my new bucktail course, which includes the blackfish jigging techniques seen in this video. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, and this blackfish trip was preceded by a rock flipping session to go get some bait. And those are Asian shore crabs, typically uh, really excellent for blackfish. And we're heading up to Rhode Island because uh, the New York season has not opened yet, but we're gonna go up to Rhode Island and do some catch and release. And I'm out with my friends, uh, John Halkius and Doc, and uh, actually also John Sweeney's out in his boat. And yeah, that's gonna be interesting because uh, yeah, okay, so he's going to be in that boat. You're going to see it right there. Um, it's kind of like a, a light greenish blue. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's going to be an interesting incident on the water today involving uh, John Sweeney. So, uh, But, hey, first let's get to the fishing. And that incident, um, a threatened ramming, is going to involve that boat right there running behind Ooh. Sweeney. But, yeah, that, that will be a little bit nice uh, into the trip. It's a good one, huh? Yeah. I did just drag. Oh, that's, that's good, good, Doc. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice one. Keeper, definitely a keeper. Yeah. Very nice. First one of the year. First one of the year. This is actually a nice area over here. Oh. Whoa. Wow, there you go, Doc. That's a good one. I'm gonna go fish by him. Oh, he's got a nice yeah. one. Yeah. Docky baby. Oh yeah. Oh nice. nice Very dog. good. Okay, it gives us hope. Okay, so we're uh, using light jigs anywhere between one half and one ounce, uh, 10 to 15 pound braid. We're in about 17, 18 feet of water and I'm preparing a green crab and I'll tell you what, and it's the first time this has happened to me, but the Asian crabs were pretty much worthless this trip. Uh, these blackfish here, uh, <laughs> they had very little interest in those Asian crabs. Uh, they were all over the green crabs, no problem. Um, I can tell you I use the Asian crabs in Long Island Whoa. Sound and they're spectacular there. Oh, I want to swim with it. Oh, oh. oh nice. Nice. A keeper. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. All right. First one. Nice. Oh, what's he spinning up? Could it be crabs? All right, buddy. Very nice. I knew I should have done them a lot of slides sooner. Nice. Good fish? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh boy. On a whole a whole green. On a whole green. Crush, huh? Crush shot. What a net maybe or no. Oh it's a nice fish. It's a good one. Four or five pounder. Nice splash. Oh I saw that from Yeah, that boat up there with the flag, that's the one Sweeney's gonna get into it with. That's the third spot I've seen that boat anchor up on in a pretty short period of time. But uh yeah, we're not moving. We're uh anchored uh via the spot lock feature on our trolling motor, as is Sweeney. And the rather heavy rod that uh, we have in the gunnel there is the underwater camera. Oh, it's always interesting to see the bottom and see what's going on down there. Um, lots of things. First of all, the bottom is way more irregular in terms of the, the sandy areas than I am used to seeing. Usually it's pretty flat and you have rocks, but I guess, you know, there is a fair amount of current here and it's kind of scoured out. Um, you know, you're just seeing this one view. Uh, all right, there's a nice black fish, and there's a, a lot of porgies. Um, yeah, we caught some porgies. We know they were harassing uh, the baits. In fact, you'll see off to the right-hand side of the screen, oh, yeah, jig's going to go down there, and those porgies are going to be all over it. Uh, yeah, there is a black fish that moves in on it, but, um, yeah, we, uh, we certainly had a lot of interference from those porgies. Another thing that strikes me is how much movement there is here. Uh, you, you, you see the uh, what the water looks like on top. It's a pretty nice day, and the current's not severe, but wow. Uh, all right, 17, 18 feet down, whatever this is, it's really just, you know, pushing back and forth. Look at that. It's like a almost like a little storm kicking up occasionally. Uh, it's really blowing around. That is way more movement than I would be expecting at this depth on such a relatively calm day. But yeah, it's a, a little sandstorm down there. So 
Um, always interesting to see that. Um, another thing is you can see you know, there's clumps of stuff. That's why if you drop into some of those weeds, you know, you really have to move it. And it, as with black fishing, it also pays to move around semi-frequently if you're not catching fish. And you're going to see on a jig lift here, um, we're going to pick up a fluke on the way up. We're going to see him just off to the left there, upper left-hand corner. There's the freeze. Um, yeah, we didn't hook any, but certainly there was one there. Okay, with the current picking up, I'm going up to a one-ounce jig from a three-quarter. And this is where, um, actually, the Sweeney stuff starts uh, happening. And uh, what you'll see in the background when I look up is a boat kind of heading at Sweeney. What he did was he kind of ran around, got a heading start, and then went at him. And you're going to hear um, what that was about. And uh, it's, it's amazing. Sweeney! Sweeney! What happened? What? Said, I'm going to ram your boat. Why? Why? You're joking, right? You're joking, right? He's not joking. He just gave me a finger. And he said, because you're on my spot. Yeah, I heard him say that. I thought he was coming right at you just now. Yeah, the video didn't do it any justice as that boat went at it, but uh, Sweeney's going to come over and fish near us and give us a better uh, description. Like For now, uh, oh, more fish. Gonna good one. Uh, it's going to pass. No, it's the biggest one yet. I don't know about yeah. this one yet. Yes, it is. No, it's really good. Yeah. It's a good one. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, there you go. Good. there you go. Good job. There you go. The jig actually moved for a change. Strike out? No, no. Yeah, Skinner's got a It's the first thing I've hooked that's any good. You want, uh, you want a net? It's going to need a net, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a five pounder. Not a five pounder. Oh, hey, back up, back up. It's, no, it's a really nice, it's a really I'm nice here, blackfish, I'm here, yeah. I'm here, I'm here. He's getting, all, oh, it is a nice blackfish. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big one, big one. Yeah. Babe Ruth. Oh, dude, dude, this is a hot. Yeah, this is, this is a double digit fish. I don't know about that. Oh, close. Nice. You know, Look at this. Nice. There. And, and as I had to say, oh, so Sweeney's uh, fishing right over by us now in his boat. And uh, yeah, we were catching some fish. We said, yeah, you know, come right over here. And uh, and he did. And with the spot lock, it's really easy to, to do that and uh, not get messed up. Let's leave the yeah, it's a nice one, but he's going to. Nice, yeah. like yeah. I'm going to say that's a seven. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Doc. Yeah, seven, seven. is. Yeah. In the water. Oh, oh and, but the current, the fight in the current yeah. is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a really nice healthy fish. So tell us the story now. <laughs> nice release. Yeah, that's really nice. Good job. Did you respond to it? I said why? I didn't really know that he said it. That's a keeper. Keep that one. So go on. I should land it. And I said, why? And he said, because you're on my spot. So when I got here, there were only two on the boat. Right. No, no. We saw him pull up. Yeah. And you were definitely here first. Well, I know. I was the third boat in this school everywhere. I mean, yeah. Boat, meaning, like, that guy wasn't even here. Right. No, I know. When I came in here, there was, you know, I wasn't even here before. Was it? Whatever. And then he made a beeline towards you. He turned and he gave you the finger. I heard, I know, I saw the finger. I heard the motor, that's why I looked, but I, you know. Oh, I, 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 I didn't know what he was doing, and I thought, is he well, joking he's around? He's like, are they playing around? I'll just swing through a little Yeah, like you thought I knew the guy, right? Yeah, I thought maybe you guys were talking. He came, huh, he, he came. Really 
Yeah, so Sweeney got out here early. There was nobody around in his area, and uh, put on he put on a side scan. You know, looked around, found some structure, got on it with the trolling motor. You know, jiggled around and uh, proceeded to catch fish. Then this other guy showed up and uh, <laughs> claimed that Sweeney was on his spot and was going to ram his boat. I just don't get it. Here we go. I love when you can say, here yeah, we go, yep. before you even you set the hook. Yeah, yeah. I feel it moving yep. with you. Oh, and I hear drag. I, got, I think I might have another. Another good one. Well, not like, one, it's a nice one. Definitely a keeper. Yeah. Definitely a keeper. Beautiful. Boy, you brought me some luck over here. Good. Very nice, Skinner. So Sweeney said that guy wasn't catching, he was clearly getting frustrated, but he was moving a lot too, you know, you, when you set up, you got to wait at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes to help build the bite. I mean, we didn't catch instantaneously, um, but yeah, all right, whatever. I'd call it a keeper. I definitely, yeah. I like when they switch. Oh, yep, except for this big black fish. Oh, you got one? Yeah, so you heard Doc say, you know, all porgy bites. And, yeah, when that jig first goes down, all those little fish, porgies, little sea bass, regals, whatever, yeah, they're all over that stuff. you got to wait until the jig moves. That's why a few times you're going to hear me on this video, uh, right before I set the hook, I'm going to go, here we go. It's because, yep, a blackfish has definitely picked it up, is swimming away. That's the time to set the hook. You have to ignore all those little bites that happen as soon as the jig hits the bottom. Those little fish are all over it. You got to wait those out. I was, I, Every, yeah. There were, there were drips. You had three, four fish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, the fluking? Yeah, but no keepers. They're all shorts, one after another. Yeah. And then at one point, he's oh, like, here okay, we go. I'm going to need a net on this one. Oh, I had a nice one. I had a beauty. Yeah. No, no, not that. Oh, here we go. There you oh, go. There you go. Wow. There you go. That's number four. No, I'm talking about the sea rod that you found. So Got him under the boat there. Nice. nice yeah. Another keeper? Yep, solid. Yeah. Solid fish? Yeah. So we all have four now. Pretty evenly distributed. We would have had a Long Island sound limit, but we need three more for a Rhode Island limit that is, you know, doesn't matter. We're not taking any fish. Technically, recreational boats in Rhode Island only five fish. So those guys had me 7-0 when I was fishing the other side of the boat. We didn't move. All I did was move to the other side of the boat, this side, and here we go. Everybody's tied up now. It's uh, It really does make a difference with black fishing. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big fish on. Hold on. Every time he moves his boat. You know that? No. Good one, though. It was a here we go fish, you know? I saw getting it, sweetie. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, keeper. Yeah, yeah, definitely keeper. Very nice. Very nice. So that's uh, five for me. Yeah, that's uh, 14 total. Five, five. And you four. want cookies? No, no thanks. No cookies? You want it? You want a drink? Nice. Keeper. Keeper? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Oh, nice. Good job. So now we've, we've got a couple, so it's good. And now we just and you had your, you know, a key for Skinner? Yeah. Rhode Island limit, five fishermen. And we all have five, believe it or not. Good. I limited. I might be at six. So one was like 15. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh. Here he is. Oh. oh Head. What the? F you know what? Maybe his next book will have a chapter. Oh no, he's still on. Hey. <laughs> close, close the bail when you're buying. You know it was close. I think I wasn't in the roller. Oh, only Skinner could completely mess up the <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice one too. Yeah. Nice one. Rust color. Well, you know when the hooks are good, you can get away with crap like that. All right. And the hooks are good. These are s, &S John Skinner Blackfish Porgy Jigs. And, yep, he can mess it up that bad and still catch them. That it was decent. Oh, I got one swimming. 
There you go. Oh, so, hey, we're on them. I swear, you come over here with your boat and it like pushes the fish yeah, here. Like Test yeah, purposes. you know what? I don't want to be out all night anyway. I mean, I don't want to be out that late, so. And we've done a good job here. Right. And, it's, and it's not exactly lock and load. No, so let's go. Sweeney got his uh, sandwich. Who's going to defend them, though, if that bully comes back? With the yeah, you going to be okay? <laughs> I'll get my flag gun ready. Maybe he thought you were Skinner with the, uh, with the hat. Yeah, right. Here we go. Oh. 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 Come on. Coming up to Kate. Stay away from you. He took a big run already. What did you What did you put on? A green or? Yeah, green. Yeah. Green, okay. Want a net on this one? Maybe. I'm up. I don't have the net. Oh, I hear his so. Good job, Skinner. I love it when they circle. That's usually a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger than the other one, you think? Or? It's in that class. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. The other one's bigger. Yeah, the other one's bigger, but it's still a nice one. I don't even think you need a mat. I mean, it's a keeper. Wow, good, you great fight. You're not going to break anything. <laughs> nice, nice fight. There it go. It's a nice it's, fish. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online fishing courses at saltstrong.com Skinner, especially the one that came out this year that includes the blackfish jigging.